Maya's particle instancer is very advanced, but one thing it can't do is instance an animated hierarchy. So instead of having just this model as our instance geometry, we actually have to have a series of models, a sequence of models, each one in a separate pose. So we actually have to make a whole bunch of copies of our butterfly, one for each frame of the cycle. And the way to do that is through the snapshot tool. To make it easier, I'm going to parent the parts together. So I'll select the wing left, shift select wing right, and then shift select the body and press P. That way I know that the body is the parent of those two wings. Let's check in on that with window outliner. You'll see body has got two children, wing left and wing right. You'll also see our curves here, which are on a hidden layer. Okay, I'll minimize that outliner. I've got my animation, it's playing fine. And I'm ready to create snapshots. So I want to select the root of that hierarchy, which is the body. And I want to go to the animation menu set. And then we can choose animate, create animation snapshot options. And the only thing we really need to do in here is change the end time. Remember that we've got a 12 frame cycle. So I'll set the end time to 12. Click Snapshot, and then a whole bunch of copies are made. 12 copies of each object. So going back to my outliner, you'll see I still have my body, and it's still got children, wing left and wing right, but now I've got all these groups as well. Notice that they're not conveniently named, so we'll have to rename them, and in fact we're going to have to relink them too, which is a little bit tedious, but we've only got 12 of them, so it'll just take a minute. The original animated butterfly won't be used, so I'm going to go ahead and just hide it. So I've got body selected, I'll put it on a layer as well. And I'll call that original layer. Click save, and then I can just hide that. So we need to do some cleanup here. You notice these parts have all got new default shaders on them. You'll notice that uh, they have funny names as well. So let's deal with the shader part first. I'll just select all of the wings. Hold down Control and Shift and drag to select all of those. Might want to check in the outliner to make sure. So these are all currently selected. And I'll right click and choose Assign Existing Material Wing Shader. And likewise with the bodies, here they all are. I'll select all of those, right click, assign existing material, butterfly body shader. Okay, we've got the shaders now. Then we'll rename them. So these are all the bodies here, once again. So I'll select all of those. And in the status line, we've got different options up here. By default, you'll see absolute transform mode. But we're going to actually choose rename. So I'll go in there, and I'll just erase whatever is there, and I'll call it Body Snap. And press Enter. And you notice that it renamed them all automatically from 1 to 12. Well, that's great. So we'll go down to the next group. What are these now? Those are the left wings. So I'll call that one Wing Left Snap. And then finally the right wings. Wing right snap. I don't actually need these groups that are here, so I can just select the group node and hit Edit on Group. And then finally, in order for this to work with the instancer, I'll need to link all the parts together. So, wing right snap and wing left snap should be parented to body one. So I've selected those in order with the control key on Windows. It's the command key on the Mac if you need to select discontiguous items in the outliner. Once I've selected them in that order, then I'll press P. And now you'll see body snap one has got two children. So I just need to repeat that process. So I'll select one of the wings, then the other, and then the body, 
and press P. So I want to make sure that my numbers all line up, and I want to make sure that it's actually correct in the viewport. Okay, so right snap three, left snap three. And I just have to continue down that process until I've done all of them. So I've parented all of the parts together by hand. I just want to verify that this is good. So I'll select each one in turn and just check it. To make sure that these are actually highlighting on both sides. And I think I'm good to go. So I'll go ahead and save this. Save scene as. And I'll call it Butterfly 04. And I also want to save a version that I can import directly into a scene with particles. In other words, a version that doesn't have any of this extra stuff in it, like the original animated objects or the curves and whatnot. I want to save a scene file that only has these snapshots in it and nothing else. So back in my outliner, just to make sure I select only what I need, I'll go to the File menu and choose Export Selection. And I'll save it as a Maya ASCII file with the name Butterfly Snapshots. Now to verify that that was good, I'm going to go back and open it. File Open. Butterfly Snapshots. I don't need to save those changes, I've just saved. Here's my Butterfly Snapshots document, and you'll see it doesn't have the original objects in it, and it doesn't have any animation, and there are no curves. And this is just a raw file that's ready to go. All of these snapshots are set up, characters facing in the x-axis, and this is now ready to be used in the Particle Instancer.